Well, today marks four years since the devastating 2016 floods that claimed the lives of 23 people. One of the hardest hit areas was the town of Raynell, but tonight, four years later, Newswatch reporter Anna Saunders tells us how the town is making a comeback after what they thought was going to be the end. Take a look. John Wyatt said June 23rd, 2016 started off as any old summer day in the quiet town of Raynell. But then came the rain. And closer to dusk is when he said the water really started to rise. And the next thing he knew, he was in a boat helping rescue others. We rescued 21 people out of that area of, of the town. Two didn't survive, uh, two friends of mine. And, but it was a, uh, it, it was really a harrowing night. It really, honestly, uh, and today I still hear those cries of people down there yelling and crying for, for help. Complete devastation and tragedy across southern West Virginia with loss of property and worse, human life. Andy Pendleton was the mayor of Raynell at that time and remembers that night as just pure sadness. Every street was flooded. Every business was flooded. 90% of our homes was flooded. To think you have to wait up for that. What kept me alive was, was the work I did, the work we all did. And groups from all over the country went to work to help Raynell and surrounding areas rebuild throughout the following year. So in spite of the devastation, what most choose to remember is the way the community came together in the years to follow. That, uh, I think I called it, an indomitable spirit of the people of Appalachia that that just rose up for the occasion and people really and they, and they work together. So the rebuilding process continues and while many agree that there is still work to be done and houses that need torn down there are also homes that have been rebuilt businesses that have returned a new post office and even a new coffee shop and visitor center in the work. So Pendleton says she chooses to remember the past four years as a legacy of love. The neighbors helped the neighbors, the people helped the neighbors. There was a legacy of love, again, that filled our community and filled their hearts. And that legacy of love is what keeps the town going to this day. Because after all, it is a town built to carry on. Reporting in Raynell, I'm Anna Saunders, Newswatch.